viewers, welcome to my first YouTube video. Um, I'm having to reshoot because I accidentally shot it sideways. <laughs> um, just bear with me because I'm using a fairly old camera phone and I don't have a tripod or anything so I might wobble a bit. I also have dogs and birds so there may be some noise in the background. Um, so this is the boys art, craft and planner tote. I was inspired by ladies in the Facebook group sharing their planner totes to create this for my boys. They also just recently got pen pals and got quite a few lovely little things from their pen pals. Connor got this from Lorenzo and Eric got this washi from Orlando. Hi Lorenzo and Orlando, thank you so much for sending stuff to my boys. Um, because of their connective tissue disorder, they have very um, weak hands and we have to do a lot of fine motor skills and a lot of strengthening of their wrists and their elbows and their hands. Um, stamping is a good way to do this, so um, a bit of thin block wouldn't work. So I've gone with a close to my heart 2 inch by 6.5 inch because it will fit the stamps they've chosen. Um, and it's thick and it has this ridge, which is good for your fingers to grip. Connor bought this stamp. Oh, sorry, no, that's not the one I was thinking it was. This is the first stamp I ever got. Long before Close to My Heart were on the scene. I don't remember the brand anymore. Um, but Connor loves it, so he chose it for my collection. This Connor bought with his pocket money. I won't say the brand on here, but I'm disappointed in the quality given the price he paid because it sticks so hard to its packaging and blocks that when you're pulling it off, you nearly damage it. Now, I did not want them to feel they had to buy what mummy sells because mummy's a consultant. So they were allowed to buy any brand they want. They were allowed to choose from mummy's collection and so on and so forth. So some of it they've paid for themselves with their pocket money, some has been gifted to them and some of them they've just picked out of my stash. Um, so they've chosen Out of This World from Close to My Heart, In Gear from Close to My Heart and Tech Speak from Close to My Heart. Um, of course, I, if I need to use any of these for class or the block, I'll just grab them and use them in the class. Um, just like they're allowed to use my other stamps and my other blocks if they need to, and my inks if they need to. Um, I've got given these little note cards. Here's their sharpener in this pocket, and their eraser usually lives in here too, but it's gone missing. A cheap um, tape runner for them. And the rest of this front part is sticky notes. They've got four of these Lego ones from Big W. Very disappointed in the quality. As you can see, they rip. They, they actually, I actually got them six and two of them were so bad that I've had to take them back. I just got these Friday. Um, just one of the three locations that stock, so the two Coles and the Bilo, that stock this stationary range have finally got the sticky notes in. The other two don't have them yet. And then these are the sticky notes from the boys' pen pals. Lorenzo sent these to Connor because Connor plays saxophone. So it was very cute. And um, Orlando sent these to Eric. Um, then just around, I'll do the outside first. So in this pocket we keep their ink pads. Now personally, I use Close to My Heart pigment and dye inks. I use the Versifying Clear ink and I use Stays On Black ink. I also, because I have a relative who is a Kazaz consultant, I have access to her collection of Ranger Archival inks and Distress inks and I use them in my personal scrapping when I feel the, the mood too. Um, but for the boys, I wanted small ink pads that would travel well sideways and that would be easy clean up and after some discussion on the Facebook group, it was recommended that VersaCraft would fit the needs that I had. So originally I just bought them black and then they used their pocket money to buy green and red. And they're really enjoying exploring stamping. And then around this side, um, their pen, uh, oh, Orlando sent these Star Wars cards to Eric and Eric decided they were so precious they needed their own pocket. And then here is their, some more washi. They went through my collection first. so. Um, um, some of them are from my collection that I bought and then some are ones that Connor picked out um, and I've just wrapped some on this card so these are all ones that Connor wanted um, and then these Eric chose they're all close to my heart ones but some of them have been deleted 
And then the top four here, Eric chose. The top three are Kazaz, the bottom one is from Shigomi, as are the, um, these two and this one. Um, and the bottom two on here are from the Boys Pen Pals, as are all of these. They're all from the Boys Pen Pals. Um, in this Tic Tac container are clips from the Boys Pen Pals. And the ones that wouldn't fit in there, I added to the cards that I had the other clips on for them. Because I'd just gone through my, my clip collection and picked them out. Some cute little clips for, to use in their planners. And then in this zipper pocket, and I'm not finding that things fall out when I open it. Their pen pals sent them some pens. They got two frictions each and a typo each. And nothing's falling out of those pockets. And the pens just sit here on their side. And I'm a firm believer in storing your pens sideways. Because they last longer. Now into the top. I'll start around the other side for you. Okay. So... Um, I'll have to find a better solution for wet wipe storage when the other book comes because they won't fit otherwise. So they've got some wet wipes for cleanup, but if they need stamp cleaner, they have to come get mum. Now in this pocket here, they've got a tin of sketching pencils because Connor love, in particular loves to sketch, and a watercolour pan. Next to that, we've got coloured pencils, and then in this pocket, we've got a Pentel Aqua brush to use with the watercolour pan. And a journal genie, which is one end a journal journaling pen and the other end a glue stick. And then uh, Connor said he did not want one of these books. He wanted something like he wanted a, a crush book or a smash book or whatever brand, but he didn't want this style. He didn't like the cover. Um, I have not been able to find anything across any brand that was like what Connor wanted. So once he saw Eric's one, he now wants one of these. He just wants me to cover it in different paper. The boys wanted to scrapbook and I did buy them some supplies and then I found myself trying to control them because I was, um, because of the expense. Um, so these are $20 retail. I think they go up in the new catalogue. And um, we're not starting until Connor's book arrives. But um, I'm going, I know myself, I know I won't try to control because it is such a quick, simple project to do. It's just about getting those memories down. And that's the important thing, that they get their memories down. Because I'm trying to get them to record, in, in particular, their happy thoughts and memories. Because... Um, they do get bullied and they tend to focus on the things that make them sad. So I'm hoping this will make them feel happy. Anyway, so yeah, there's 30 double-sided pages. So lots of happy memories to be recorded there. Okay, they've got this big bag of stickers. Eric was diagnosed with hypoplasia the Wednesday before Easter. So we've had to cut out sugar. And um, for some reason, the teachers at their school reward with lollies. So, um, so I bought a lot of stickers so the school, the teachers could reward them. And then my nine-year-old said stickers aren't cool at school, so he only wants them at home. Their stickers from their pen pals are also in here. They've got a really big mix um, of all different brands and all different types, from robots to dinosaurs and superheroes and animals and all kinds of things. Now, this, sorry about that. Now, these are packaging from Creative Memories. They, they used to send out their, their um, photo mats and journaling boxes in. The boys have one each. Um, with the photo mats and journaling boxes they've chosen and with the Project Life cards that their pen pals sent them. And then... Um, these are to share. They've got one in each just for ease of storage. It's the um, assortment packs that match the Modville books. They're really great. They've got two sheets of mini alphabet, four sheets of tags, and a heap of little envelopes and journaling tags and 
all kinds of bits and bobs in there. Eric has chosen it all. Everyone he's chosen is creative memories, photo mats and journaling boxes. And Connor chose our little monster from Bow Buddy. And then from Basil Basics, he chose one with robots and laser guns on it. Um, so, and and here, these are he, the Project Life cards from their pen pals, which they're loving. They were so excited. I should have probably done a video of them <laughs> opening up their email, uh, up their happy mail. This is a pack of paper that um, otherwise I wouldn't have bought, but the boys like. And their favourite um, colouring in books. <laughs> Big mistake to say, go get me your favourite colouring in books because the stack is huge. And there's a little glue stick down, just down in the corner there. And when I turn it around, they each have an A5 visual art diary just to explore and create in. Eric's been having lots of fun with stamping. And then he started to do watercolour and then he started playing with the washi from Orlando. More watercolour and stamping, more washi, more watercolour. So they're having fun with that. Then over here is their planner inserts. So these are Connors. Lorenzo sent these to Connor. And then these are his other ones. With spare, um, he's got week on two pages in here, general note paper, and then year three, four note uh, book that's been cut up. And then this is Eric's one. He got this from Orlando. Eric prefers day on one page over week on two pages because of how large his handwriting is. And then we've got um, year one and two paper being cut up. Then there is an A6 visual art diary that is not for use at home or in the car. It's for if we have to do a tilt train trip. And a sketchbook to share and a watercolour book to share. The entire concept of this is that it can stay near the, next to their desk. They can bring it out to the dining table to scrap with or craft or whatever with mummy or with themselves, each other or with their sisters. Or it can come in the car or and they can craft and draw and have fun. Um, I hope this has been inspirational to other parents to, cr to get their kids crafting. Um, and um, if others have done something like this, please share. I would love to see your ideas. And um, I hope your kids enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.